Good morning. So, Monday, back home. Getting back to normal. Now I just gotta figure out how to pay for all those things that we bought. But, really happy to be back home. Proper cup of coffee. I gotta go pick up the dogs. Really excited to go see the pups. I'm gonna train. I've got meetings to book. Yeah, that's a start. I don't know what else is gonna happen. You have to stick along for the ride. I guess life is what happens when... What, shit happens when you have plans? That's life? Well, I had plans today. And first was going to pick up the pups. And that was at 9.30, and now it's 2. 2.30. On the way to get the dogs, I got a call from our dog sitter, and two of the dogs escaped her yard. Happens. Accident. It's okay. We just found him five hours later. Um, filthy and kind of cut to shreds from walking around the woods and over and through barbed wire fences. But both our dogs are okay. Both are safe. Willie, the dachshund, and Ziggy, the mutt, got out. And uh, we found Ziggy at about 11 and I've since been searching for the dachshund. So, Ashley is running the dachshund now to the vet, go get her checked out, make sure she didn't eat anything nasty. She's exhausted. So that's the day. I'm fucking trashed. It's really emotional. I thought my pups were gone. So. Well, uh, try to get my shit together the rest of the day. On the bright side of stuff, I got in a really great t-shirt. Drawn the lifeguard from um, Matt Stein who runs the uh, podcast of Terror. Got in that Python shirt. Violent Gentleman. Pair of strike movement kicks. Pretty stoked on these and uh, I'll be giving you guys a full review. Whew, once I get my shit back together. Long fucking day. Long day. All good though, right? Bad shit happens. It's always going to. And this is no different than our shit getting stolen. But one thing I can say regarding myself and my wife is in moments like this, neither of us fucking freak out and panic. There wasn't any reason for me to yell at the lady who stores our dogs. What would that have fucking accomplished? She stayed out there and helped find the dog all day too. And so, and so did four of her friends, which we would not have found this dog without her help. I know that that's the right thing to do, but most people don't fucking do that. So my dogs are still gonna go stay over there whenever we're out of town. It's, I try to stay positive and look at the good stuff. What if this would have happened yesterday while we were flying and couldn't have and could not have been involved to try to go help? That would have fucking killed me to sit on an airplane helpless while the dogs were out. That would have been really, really rough. The dogs are good. Just keep moving forward. Yesterday was really, really rough. Uh, I think I touched on it a little bit before, but on the blonde one and Willie, the little dachshund. Willie's a flight risk, we're, we're very aware. Yeah. And she's an old little gal, but she's mischievous as shit. Typical dachshund. And I think our sitter was really surprised at how well I kept my shit together. Especially there on her watch and stuff like that. And. I guess at the end of the day, I really worked very hard to figure out how to communicate the best way, right? So that we're all reaching whatever goal or outcome we all want from the, 
communication. And one of those things I have found to be very good for me is just trying to stay positive as much as possible even when things are really shit. Try to look at the bright side of, you know, I didn't get, a, I didn't get the phone call on our way to the airport Sunday morning. And we would have been stuck with our thumbs up our asses traveling. At least I was home, at least I could go help, at least the weather wasn't bad. The weather's bad today, it was also bad Sunday. So I mean, all of these other things would have been a real, a real problem and created it a lot harder to find our dogs. Um, and both dogs are found, they're home safe. You know, our, our sitter helped a ton and I mean, why be a dick to her? I mean, she felt bad enough, it was an accident. You know, she didn't, you know, it wasn't out of malice and she wasn't not taking care of the dogs. It just was a bad situation. I'm very, very happy we have our dogs back and I, I really do try to stay positive and try to think about the good side of things and try to think about how lucky we are and, you know, that things work out a lot of times. And I try not to panic. I try not to add any extra stress to a situation that's not going to help. Um, so. If anything to take away from this, it's just try to keep on the up and up and try to roll through the adversity of bad shit. Try to take bad situations and make the good out of them and keep moving forward. There's a video I'm going to link below. Uh, Jack O. Walnick has a, has a video that's really, really powerful and it's great. Um, check it out. But it's... It's very strong and I got turned on to it by Kelly while at his house and uh, I think I've watched it once a day since. Uh, but this is our little girl we got back. Little Willie. And she's definitely my pup. She loves me. She likes Ashley. But she's a dirty little dachshund. Dirty little dog. And uh, we love our dogs. It was, it was, it was like losing a family member. So. One of the only things I could think about during the hunt for was I can't imagine a world where someone loses a kid and like it was taken from them, not sickness or any of that, but like some some fucking monster takes a kid. I can't, ugh, it makes me fucking sick to my stomach. It seems like starting to have kids before your brain gets smart enough to think about all these things is probably a smarter idea, but Meh, we'll find out, right? I don't have a kid on the way, if anyone was wondering. So that's that. That's our good story. We got our post back. Try to stay positive, spread some hate, always party, always kick ass, and always try to take care of those around you and motivate them to be the best them that they can be.